Welcome to another amazing story. The Little Red Hen. Don't miss the end for interesting questions. Once upon a time, in a cozy little farm, there lived a kind and hard-working little red hen. She had a lovely little cottage and a beautiful garden. In her garden, she grew wheat, corn, and other delicious vegetables. One sunny morning, the little red hen decided it was time to harvest her wheat. She went around the farm and asked her friends, who will help me cut the wheat? The lazy dog, the sleepy cat, and the chatty duck were all sitting lazily in the sun. They looked at each other and replied, not I. Undeterred, the little red hen decided to do it herself. She worked hard, cutting the wheat with her little beak, and then she carried the heavy bundles to the cottage. After she was done, she went to her friends again and asked, Who will help me grind the wheat into flour? The lazy dog, the sleepy cat, and the chatty duck once again replied, Not I. So, the little red hen, being the determined little hen that she was, decided to do it herself. She ground the wheat into fine flour all on her own. Next, she went to her friends and asked, who will help me bake the bread with this flour? And yet again, the lazy dog, the sleepy cat, and the chatty duck said, Not I. So, the little red hen, still not giving up, decided to do it herself. She kneaded the dough, placed it in the oven, and soon, the aroma of fresh bread filled the air. When the delicious bread was ready, the little red hen went to her friends and asked, Who will help me eat this bread? Now, the lazy dog, the sleepy cat, and the chatty duck were all eager to help with that. They said, I will. But the little red hen shook her head and said, No, you didn't help me plant the wheat, cut the wheat, grind the flour, or bake the bread. So, I will eat it all by myself. And she did just that, savoring every bite of the warm and delicious bread. Her friends learned a valuable lesson that day, that you should always be willing to help when someone needs it and not just when it's time to enjoy the rewards. So, the moral of the story is, if you want to enjoy the bread, be willing to help make it.